Hello and welcome back. So in this video we will be looking at how to install LaTeX on our Windows devices. So without wasting much time, let's get started. So in order to get LaTeX running on your Windows device, first you will need a, an internet connection. So make sure you have a suitable internet connection and then you follow this video. Okay. So first things first, we would have to get the Distribution. We said that LaTeX is a software, not a, a LaTeX is a language, not a software. So in order to install it, we would first have to get the LaTeX distribution, and then the LaTeX distribution we decided to use for Windows is the MicTech. So you go to our browser and then search for MicTech download. So the first link here is the one you, you would like to use. So this takes us to the MicTech download page straightforward and then we click on Windows. Make sure that you have Windows selected here. And then we have the installer, the portable edition, the command line installer. But then let's go for the installer and click on download. Okay, so let's download that. And then while this is downloading, we would have to get the smart latex text editor that we spoke about and then we said that in this tutorial series we'll be making use of the text studio so we have text studio here so you look for text studio download and then we visit the text studio official site by just clicking on this first link so you either search for it or you just go to textstudio.org, right? Okay. So while we are here, we would have to click on the download page. So that is access to the download page, right? So let me increase the size so you can see properly. All right. So here we realize that we have download for Windows, right? So on Windows 11, we have Visual Studio. Um, Runtime is required, so you have to make sure that you have Visual Studio Runtime installed, and then we would we need the installer edition or the installer version, not the portable, right? So we click on the installer here, and then we download that one as well. So while the text do downloads, let's go back and install our my tech so i click on open here and then it opens the my tech for me All right so here we we just set the terms and condition and then you click on next it said install my tech for only me right so you can decide to install it for you or install for all users. I would prefer this since I'm the one who uses this machine. And then install my tech too. So this would be the directory to which it will install the my tech too. So we can click accept the default and then the preferred paper, right? So we would like it for a for sheets, right? So that we can print on our A4 papers. And then install missing packages on the fly. So this would it's an option that would help you uh, automatically install some packages while typing right so you can say ask me first so you can just click yes i prefer it to install it first since i always have internet connection so if you don't have internet connection if you don't always have internet connection then you just you can just say ask me first All right and then now we review everything works and then you start okay so depending on your machine and how fast the system runs, this would install. Okay. So I'll pause the video here and then wait for it to finish installing and then we continue from there. Okay. So now it's done installing. And then you click on next here and then check for updates now. You can just 
click on next and then says uh, help me uh, so donate to my tech project and then you can click on tell me more and then would close for now all right so now the text is also done installing so we can check and install the text here as well so you can open here and then wait for it to manage all right so now we click on next here and then it tells us the destination for that i want the default and then it's this is a space required 511 megabytes so Make sure you have enough space to open it this and then you click next or install then you wait for it to install okay i think this should finish okay it's done installing so you can click on close all right so now you've installed the mic tech as the latex distribution and then the text view which is the type setting the, the editing or the editor right okay so the next thing we'll do is to try and see or launch our apps to see whether they have been installed successfully. So you can search for text studio and then you see the app here and then you click on open here. If you're on Windows 11, if you're on Windows 10, so you can still just click on start, look for the text studio app and then click on open. Okay. So I'm going to launch the app right now. Okay. All right. So we are here. So this is text view by default. Once you open it, it should be here. In order to test and see whether the mic deck and the text view are in sync, right? So we have to let's quickly click on results, then click start. But before that, let me increase the uh, window size. Okay. So results quick starts and then here you can just type the title so hello world and then the after maybe i'll just put it like so here and then keep everything as as it is would we'll come back here later and then talk about this in details okay so you click on ok and then here you see that some things have been populated here for us there were this is the key feature or the importance of using the smart text editor that we spoke about they help us to quickly set certain things up and then so we can just focus on the codes right so don't worry about these preambles we would come back here later okay so right now what we would type is the large right so i want large and then Type hello world. I am using LaTeX, right? LaTeX. And then you click on this green button. The second, the first one that says build and view, right? Click on the button, and then you wait patiently while it compiles, builds it, and then when it's done building it, it will preview it here for us. Okay. So here we have hello world I am using later, which means that the mic tech and then the text studio are now in sync, so we cannot continue typesetting. So one interesting thing you have to know is that LaTeX has its own command that makes it nice or changes the look of LaTeX. So let's recompile this one and then you see something here. Okay, once it's done. Oh, you see, so this is sort of their logo in the text form. So here's hello world, I'm using it. So that's that. If you are able to get here and have this running successfully, then congratulations, you've installed LaTeX on your Windows machine. Bear in mind that sometimes you would need internet to install certain things, so make sure you have your internet connection working properly and then. Once you are prompted to install any packages, you just click on the install. Alright, so that will be that. If 
if you have faced any challenge during the installation just leave the comments or the questions in the comment section below and then we'll get back to you thank you don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video